It's the thing no parent ever wants to hear. Their child has cancer. Unfortunately, every day there are families who get that awful news. That was the case for the Dow family, who was just getting used to life as a family of three when the devastating news came. Any kind of cancer is devastating. I think with childhood cancer, it's it's more of the helplessness and innocence of the children. Riley Dow was just nine months old when she was diagnosed with neuroblastoma cancer. When they first kind of found the tumor, it was kind of like, okay, that's a shock. There's a lot of disbelief and a lot of just like, how is this possible? Like she's, she hasn't even, she hasn't even won. Just days after her first birthday, she underwent surgery to get her tumor removed. The surgery was a success, but that wasn't the end. After came years of numerous screenings, multiple MRIs and MIBG testing for tumor detection, all of which she had to be sedated for, a risk in itself for a small child. I still feel like there are times where I'm like, no, that's not a thing, that didn't happen. Riley is now six years old and cancer free, but the physical and emotional effects of the diagnosis on the Dow family still linger. It's definitely made us more aware and appreciative of everything that we have and all the moments that we have together. Riley is in first grade and loves school, animals, and dancing. She's looking forward to all that life has to offer her. She's a, a great little kid. She's really kind. She loves everything and everyone. It's remarkable to see her. Um, she's in first grade this year, so watching her grow in, in her intelligence and just growing is through school is, is amazing. It takes a village to fight cancer. The Dow family says Candlelighter's Childhood Cancer Foundation of Nevada was a tremendous help through Riley's cancer journey. The foundation is hosting its 35th annual Superhero 5K to support children with cancer. It takes place Saturday, September 28th at 8 a.m. Reporting in the newsroom, Kamari Ascara, 8 News Now.